Well, good to be back fishing for some spotted bass. Now, today we're, uh, we're on Bullard's Bar. Guys, I'm Cody Meyer here with TackleWarehouse.com. And today we are in search of the world record spotted bass. This definitely isn't it, but you know what is so cool about this place? Is any cast you can literally catch a world record. So that's the, uh, the goal today. Obviously it's not gonna be easy, but you never know. You know, that's not a, not a big one, but you know what? It's a decent spot. Not what we're after, but hey, we'll take it and start. Yeah, not too bad. Probably two and a half pounder. Hey, a lot of places we'd go, this would be a big one. Just not on Bullard's Bar, but you know what? It's a start. Stay tuned. We're going to catch some big ones, hopefully. You know right away when it's a little one. A spot of bass. What that is right there a future five pounder see when they uh when they're this small there's there's no forage in this lake so there's no you know bait fish pond smelts really big around this part of uh, the country and until they get to a certain size to eat the kokanee salmon that are in here they're going to be really really small so this is going to take a long time for this fish to grow to, uh, to get to a big size. But one day, this, he'll, he or she will be a five pounder. So throw her back. You know, one thing when you're out here, you're, you're fishing light line, you know, like we are today. This is six pound Seaguar Tatsu. Always check your line. You know, if you make multiple casts or you catch one fish, no matter what the size, make sure you retie. And, you know, that way, if you do hook a big one, you're not gonna break it off. I mean. Big spot of bass, I mean, you might only get one chance in your life to catch it, so you gotta make every cast count. And, you know, we just caught that, that little one, and I'm definitely gonna retie and add a little fray on there. And so what we're doing today is we're throwing a little straight pink ocho here, um, wacky rig with the nail weight in there. So you can see the nail hanging out. I'm gonna push that in, and you got a little O-ring on there. And what I like to do is I take this little owner mosquito hook, I just hook it right through the O-ring just like that. That way when a fish eats it, this bait is gonna slide up the line, the bait's gonna get out of the way, you're not gonna have the bait in the mouth of the fish, and you're gonna have a lot better hookup ratio. You know, this is something really simple, yet really effective, catches fish all over the country, and these big spotted bass love this little finesse presentation. And uh, again, it's just something that I go to when days are calm, slick like this, fishing's tough, this is a, a fish catching little bait right there. There we go. There's a good one. You know, it's so hard to tell how big this, this spot's gonna be, but this is, this is a decent spot. I mean, it doesn't feel like a, a great big one, but you know what? For a lot of guys in the country, this is a fish of a lifetime. You know, this is, this is the same exact spot, you guys, where last year, December 16th, I caught a 1080 spotted bass, world record spotted bass. Here we are, you know, again, a year later, I just saw that fish in the garment down there in about uh, 20 feet, doing it again. What the heck, look at this. This is a big old squaw fish. Talk about getting you excited, man. It's a squawfish, really? This is, this is the first time I've ever caught a squawfish in my life. Crazy. I was excited there for a minute. Yeah, it's still cool, look at this thing. I was thinking, what is that, a big trout? Squawfish like Ocho's too, apparently. Look at that thing. <laughs> Hey, you come to Bullard's Bar, you never know what you're gonna get. World record spotted bass, 10 inch spotted bass, big old squawfish. 
Look at this here. I don't even know if they have teeth. Come here, sweetie. KVD Magic Ocho. Yeah! <laughs> Oh my gosh, it ate it too. Get out the cuda pliers. So for those at home, this is a big squaw fish, man. You know, I don't know what uh, these things are good for, but let me get a little fight there. Pretty cool little cuda pliers. Gets in there pretty deep. Hey, I can officially say I just caught my personal best squaw fish ever. There it is, man. Let's get a spot next time, a big spot. Oh, what do we got here? This is a, this is a little one. You know, that fish came out at 60 feet of water. Bass. Ocho gets them every time. You know what's crazy is you can feel this fish, you know it's a little one, with this uh, Tatuli Elite Rod, these AGS guides, all the way down at 60 feet. You can still feel it. I mean, those guides are extremely sensitive. Definitely not what we're looking for, but still a fish, and it's still fun. here. Uh-oh. Big one. Here's the deal, guys. This is the same point where I caught that world record spot. I just had my heart broke with my personal best squaw. So this is something big. I don't know how big. This is something big. Throwing the Strike King Ocho here. It's the same bait I caught the big spot on last year, KVD Magic is the color, and we got something big. The question is, what is it? Is she a squaw or is it a spot? I'm leaning with the spot this time. For the simple fact is, <laughs> I've only caught one squaw in my life, but you know, this is the thing with these big spots, you know, this is, uh, this is six pound Seaguar Tatsu. You can see I'm getting on this troll motor, I'm gonna follow this fish. You know, I'm back reeling right now with this Daiwa. This is the new Tatula LT spinning reel. And on that cast, what's so important about a spinning reel with a high gear ratio is that fish bit and I reeled up to it really quick. And that's the deal with getting a good hook set. You know, on this rod, this is the Tatula Elite rod. It's a seven foot, four inch rod with the AGS guides. That is a must, you guys, when you're fishing. You know, a bottom contact bait, you're looking for that extra sensitivity. This is a carbon fiber guide. That's awesome. And we're gonna be here for a little minute, a little bit. You know, this is, this is the thing with these big spots is six pound tests, you cannot do much. You just gotta follow them and you're at the mercy. I see my leader knot here coming up, so she's getting close. Thank God you don't have a uh, something on my heart right now because it's beating. Look at that there. Look at that there. Here we go. Not a giant, but it's a good one. <laughs> Not a giant for, for this place. But you know what? This is a spotted bass of a lifetime right there. Look at that. Look at that. How it ate that Ocho. Unbelievable fish. You know, it's cool about these big spotted bass. See these black spots right here? When, it, when you see a little spot with those on its belly, you know it's gonna be a big one. And sure enough, they always end up being big. You know, that little, that bait. Beautiful spot. You know, most people will kill for a spot like this. Definitely special. But look, I mean, this spot is only, it's not that long. It's just super thick. Hopefully we're gonna get another big one, but uh, for now, definitely a good one.
That's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching this week's vlog, you know, presented by Daiwa and Strike King. Make sure you guys like, share, and tag a friend for your chance to win some Daiwa and Strike King stuff. You know, what a great day out here. Had a blast, had a good time, caught a lot of big fish. You guys, thank you. Make sure to check out these great products on tacklewarehouse.com.